Hello, it's me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And this is the Wednesday. Should I call it the Wednesday after the solar eclipse? But anyway, uh, uh, Monday, that was fabulous. And, you know, I don't know whether anyone ever really celebrates the darkness. I don't know whether anyone, you know, we ever look and s out, look out and see the darkness, darkness and say, whoa, it's beautiful out there. So, but uh, how many people are racing around, you know, that we say the state of Ohio, but really the nation racing around these United States trying to get to a place of totality. They wanted to experience that total eclipse where they would experience, see, you know, maybe see the darkness and the, the weird kind of twilight darkness or total darkness. But yeah, it is interesting as I think of the eclipse that today the reading, the gospel reading from uh, St. John talks about that darkness versus light, you know, that the light, he writes, the light came into the world, but people prefer darkness to light. But yet, those who, la uh, who are exposed to the truth, whose lives are exposed to the truth, are, will come to the light. But those who hate, uh, you know, who, uh, who do things that are wicked, uh, like the darkness, they, they hate the light, they like darkness. But you know, really think about it. Not many good things happen after dark, meaning, you know, the, oh, let me say this, put it this way, that many a time, if we are doing anything wrong, we, we want it covered. We don't want it to be exposed. And there's that sense that covered in the light, we you know maybe do it behind closed doors. There's that sense again, covered as opposed to where something is exposed and th there's light because perhaps it's good. But yet, you know, this day and age, especially you consider what we see, you know, what is exposed on social media, I don't think many, some people have any fear of, uh, you know, exposing things in the light, you know, whatever evil, whatever wicked things they can think of. So maybe we, uh, we, uh, what, what's the word today? Modern people think that uh, maybe what we read in the scripture doesn't apply as well. But I, I believe there is a truth, a truth to that. And as we hear that play on light and darkness in, in the gospel, and it brings us back to this season of resurrection, this is season of, of, of Easter, where we celebrate the Lord who died, suffered, died, but rose again, rose to give us new life. And that life can also be seen in that light. Think of the light that we lit on the Easter vigil and that Easter candle, the Paschal candle that reminds us of the light of Christ, the light that is also given to us to light our ways as we, we, we live through this world, looking forward to that promise of eternal life that he gives. But definitely, in order to, to see our way through the darkness of this world, we need the light of Christ. And so maybe as you live this week, this week that also gave us that uh, amazing beauty or however you can consider it amazing nature at play, the eclipse, think, think of that light and think of what the moon did there and think of what are those things really that may stand in your way between you and that light. What is, you know, that, what is that that can play that, uh, you know, the, the moon that stands between you and that light. And we pray that the light, definitely we know, the, the moon, even in the eclipse, cannot overcome the power of the sun. The sun, the light is still there, and eventually the sun did pass. Uh, or, you know, the, the, somehow the, the moon, they, they, they parted their ways. But yes, for us too, the light that is Christ is always there and always present to us. All we have to do is continue to open ourselves and see, see this light. Even though we can say temptation, we can say the devil, we can say Satan is like that moon that can stand between us and that light of Christ. But we all know the light cannot be overcome. It's so powerful and it's so real. Jesus is so powerful and so real. He has overcome anything that we could stand between, between him and us. And that light, his life in us, cannot be overcome as long as we open ourselves to that light. And I pray, friends, brothers and sisters, continue to open your heart to that love, to that light, to his presence, to his grace. And love because you are loved. Amen.